the culture is like root. Yeah. When I say teach children, um, you know that kind of thing from culture. Because no more kind of, nobody selling. Selling is from culture. Children is from culture. Nobody going to teach the one old man or they teach the young one because the young one is still growing up, right? Nobody say, I'm going to teach the, the old man. Yeah, nobody said that. Then you say, I say three times, three times only from culture. Grandmaster Navigator, Pius Mao Pialog from the tiny island of Sarawal in the Caroline Islands of Micronesia. First came to Hawaii in the mid-1970s, as if through the mists of time, bucking tradition and breaking taboos of his homeland, he brought back to the Hawaiian people the ancient and lost art of wayfinding, non-instrumental navigation, bringing life back to a culture that was dying. Guiding the Hokuleau, the replica of an ancient Hawaiian voyaging canoe, on her maiden voyage from Hawaii to Tahiti in 1976, Mao navigated across 31 days and 2,400 miles of open ocean, a feat not attempted nor accomplished in Polynesia for centuries. From that time forward, up to and including the voyage aboard the sailing canoe Makali'i in 1999 that sailed the master home to Micronesia, Mao's gift and singular presence helped ignite a cultural renaissance that reawakened island people across all the Pacific. A simple islander who crossed an ocean and changed the world. In 2001, Mao comes to Hawaii for three reasons. To visit with Shorty and Clay Bertelman, navigator and captain of the Makali'i. To talk about the canoe Clay intends to build for Mao to bring home to Micronesia as a learning tool. And most importantly, to receive a long overdue public tribute from the Hawaiian voyagers, 25 years after Mao's first voyage on Hokulea. Watching Mao studying the ocean, one wonders, how much ancient knowledge does he carry inside him that will never be known? In Hawaii, Mao is recognized everywhere, like a movie star. Mao's reasons for all he has done is simply this. Family and the culture. These are the two themes that run through Mao's story and why he hopes for a canoe to be built for Micronesia. Because the great irony is while Mao brought the culture back to Hawaii, in his own homeland, it is disappearing. First on Mao's agenda is flying with his son Cesario and with Clay Bertelman to Maui to inspect the mode Clay hopes to use for the hulls for Mao's canoe. Or oh, oh, we can go look at them, eh? Okay. To see maybe we've got to do this, fix this, or fix that, or whatever. Yeah. How old were you the first time you flew on an airplane? Um, I think four years, I mean, 40. And where did you fly from? Uh, yeah. Yeah, to Guam. 
welcome to Honolulu. That was to me with the Hokulea crew? Oh, yes. Did you like flying? Yeah. I don't know, because I remember when the engine is broke, the plane is fall down. <laughs> I don't know, in the water or on the land. You like it better on the ocean? Oh, yeah. That's why I like go on, on the canoe because no yeah, problem. But the plane is full. Big problem. <laughs> Meeting them, flying in from Hilo are Desmond Anton and John Kikua. Desmond and John are among the main organizers of the Astrovaganza Festival to be held in Hilo at the end of June. Working with Clay Bertelman and his nonprofit organization Nakhlai Va'an, Astrovaganza will host the tribute to Mao. Clay Bertelman, a Special Forces soldier in Vietnam, a crew member and later captain on Hokulea, was the driving force behind the building of Makali'i in 1994. It is his determination to fulfill Mao's only request of the Hawaiian voyagers, to build a voyaging canoe for Micronesia to help save the culture in his homeland. That will make Clay the driving force behind Mao's canoe. Clay is determined to raise the six-figure funds it will take to build the canoe for Mao as a thank you to him for his single-handed generosity of bringing back the voyaging culture to the Hawaiian people. So, Papa, remember that with Makli, we get him in the warehouse? Yeah. The same one, same one. Same one. After he popped the house, he come up this way, yeah. we go out, and more, and more high. Yeah. Mao knew the canoe was the underlying element for the Hawaiian people to reclaim and preserve their culture, not just the hula or the crafts or the music or the language. The very essence of the culture was the canoe the way Mao was raised on Sarawak. Welcome to Waikiki Beach. <laughs> Oh, 
Sepewan. And welcome to Sepewan.